I've been a small businessman. I've had that experience of waking up in the middle of the night and wondering how I was going to meet payroll the next day. I can identify with all of those people out there who give health care to their employees and those who wish they could give health care to their employees. And I looked at the, the CBO report that came out yesterday that said this is going to cost 10 million jobs and it's going to cost insurance for those people that are in the small business market. I'm the, the ranking member on health, education, labor, and pensions. And in that committee, we have not had a single hearing to increase jobs. Now, we've had a lot of hearings on how we could put more regulation on small businesses and big businesses, which keeps them from employing more people. I have small businessmen who say, I have 15 employees now. I see that if I go to 16, I'm going to have this mountain landslide of additional regulation fall on me. Or I have 25 people. If I go to 26, it's going to fall on me. Or I have 49 people. If I go to 50, I'm under the avalanche. There are a whole bunch of different regulations that cause a cascade of additional regulation on these small businessmen who are small enough that they have to understand every one of those regulations and enforce every one of those regulations themselves. This bill is a job landslide. It will eliminate jobs and bury them under an avalanche of new regulations. Yesterday, the Department of Labor announced that they were going to do 90 additional regulations, and uh, those will make it fairer for employees. Those small businessmen are trying to make it as fair for their employees as they can because that's the only way they can stay in business. But they're not going to hire until they know what's happening.